They served this country under arms, but in death their bodies have gone unclaimed. Today, for the first time in Austin, the remains of 12 unclaimed veterans were received with full military honors at Camp Mabry. First Lieutenant Robert Allen Rush served in the U.S. Army from 1951 to 1953. Their duty may be lost to history, their memories are not. Sunday, 12 veterans, their bodies unclaimed, were claimed by their fellow countrymen. A service at Camp Mabry to say thanks and farewell. Uh, we like people to know that there are unclaimed veterans out there sitting on a shelf gathering dust. And uh, we want people to know that, you know, when someone served our country, that they should receive the proper military honors and interment that they deserve. There are 100,000 unclaimed vets every year in the U.S. The nonprofit Missing in America project sees to it they receive the dignity they deserve. At the end of the day, it does not matter what branch they come from, when they served, where they served, or who they served alongside. We're all brothers and sisters in arms, and they paid the ultimate sacrifice for our freedom. Some of the vets had family here, some did not. Ashley Early came. She lost her dad when she was two. I was born in July of 87, and so he was died March of 89, so I don't have any memories of my own of him. So this was um, a very nice opportunity to be able to make my own memories that I definitely will never forget. Ask not for whom the bell tolls. This day, we know. Tomorrow, Honor Guard will escort the dozen to Colleen, where they'll be laid in their final resting place at the Central Texas State Veterans Cemetery.